最宽的肩膀扛得住，誓言不改变、哦。当强烈的信念让云云都无言，浪漫成了特权，光喜光。我的壮烈是无悔的经典。哦，不要想的爱是深爱，像无尽的存在，却无处不在。维持爱到深海，愿所爱,爱，安然横渡星海。感情一生挂怀，最无私的深爱是绝不忧伤的。爱。前女友。It's just like its owner, bringing me nothing but trouble. 郑生 ，Sorry, but I'm still at the office. I won't be home anytime soon. Go have dinner without me. Oh, okay. Here. 杨生 ever feels any distress, his memory will be in danger, and he will forget about you forever. Jiaping, our real home. Okay. At that moment, Liang Shang had no idea how afraid I was that his illness would relapse. I was afraid that he'll get hurt and lose his memory again. I was worried that he'd be in danger again. 
At that moment, I missed Wei Chaping. I wanted to go home. I should say, Maida. Still the same old house. Still the same bed. It felt like we had never left Wei Jiaoping. In the past ten years. You're awake. <laughs> I'm going to brush my teeth. Why do I feel like you're always watching me? What are you thinking? This is my real home. It feels warm and familiar. Just a little quiet. If only Mama and Papa were here. Yeah. I wish they were here. I miss them too.
Zhang Sheng. Hmm? Is there anything in your mind? No, nothing. I came back late last night, so I didn't prepare anything. We only have noodles. This feels just like when we were little. Hmm, yeah. Nothing has changed. Changsheng, everything will be fine. Pa, Ma, we're here to visit you. Are you at peace where you are? I'm doing great. So is my brother. You used to come here often. ...and spend the whole afternoon here. Wait, uh, do you remember... ...when we went here... ...so we could listen to the wind together? Liang Shang... ...we will go home together... ...when I get my work done. Eat some of these while you're waiting. Come on, he will start to feel better. This is the exact place where my mother said goodbye to me. She must know that you miss her. Listen to the wind. It sounds like she's saying... Try your best to be happy.
重伤。Feels like I can still smell the scent of my mother. I know that you can't forget your mom. So when the Chungs came to find you, it was time for you to go back home to them. No matter where my home is, or where it will be in the future, my heart. Will always be with you. We will be together forever. Without Bei Xiaowu here, this little town, brother, isn't the same way Jiaping. Yeah. The persimmons, they must be ripe by now. How about we go and check the persimmon trees? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Tell me about it. So apparently, my man. All right. How come this place became like this? I don't know why. And she came over the other day asking for money. We honestly don't know why she did that. It developed pretty fast. Mm -hmm. Huh? Tian Shang Garden. Why don't we check it out? Mm-hmm. Zhangsheng, Liangsheng. You haven't been back here for a long time. Mrs. Li. You're here to visit Ginger Blossom Garden, aren't you? How did it get its name? A few years ago, a company came here to develop a tourist program, and they turned this place into a beautiful garden. It is weird that they don't plant any rare flowers, but they only planted Ginger Blossom. It is quite beautiful, though, when the flowers bloom. You too. Take your time and enjoy. <laughs> Ginger flowers are very beautiful. They are also quite tough. Just like you, Zhang Sheng.
微笑的脸是最美的诗篇。往事一幕幕重演，映在你的眉眼。你对我说，月光下要坚强。时光吹散。中点燃，落叶轻轻飘落在你的脚边，那是我们一生中最美丽的遇见。我一直在人潮人海中寻找你消息。尽力气，努力奔跑，只想再看你一眼。盛开曾经记的花，在悬崖凋谢绽放。是爱让我勇敢。我是你最亲爱的小孩，陪你看满天星。The persimmon trees are unnoticed. I guess the children in the village, they go to Ginger Blossom Garden now. Actually, back in France, I learned that the ginger blossom is not the flower of a ginger. Looks like the gingers I grow will never ever blossom. But I know what the ginger blossom symbolizes now. Really, what? To keep the memory of the summer forever. Why didn't you get more sleep? Don't you have to drive later? If I slept longer, who will cook breakfast for you? Enjoy your breakfast. Here tonight. Okay. Cheng Cheng. Hmm. If Mushroom and I fell into a river at the same time, who would you save first? Don't be silly. You're my brother.
Are you ready now? Let's go. <sighs> okay, just let me grab my coat. I'm leaving. Let's go. What are you thinking now? Uh, nothing. <sighs> Look how peaceful this place is. I could spend the rest of my life here. It'll be more beautiful at night. Look over there. Below the Thousand Island Lake is a city. In my heart, there is a girl named Zhang Shang. <laughs> things turn out, we should always be together. Do you understand? Look at this red beam. It has your name on the back. I've been planning to give it to you and the one you love. But I never thought that things would turn out this way. I have seen a lot of jewelry, but I have never seen a single one that can replace the red bean. I think because love sickness is the most powerful affection.
At that moment, I clearly realized that I was still in love with Tianyu. But what is more important than love is the familial bond with my brother. I couldn't, and I was unwilling to hurt him, because he is more important than my life. Here. <laughs> Thank you. What are you looking at? You look so engrossed. I'm admiring your work. You know what? You're like a child, holding on to things you like and won't let go of them. <laughs> you know what? This is the best gift I've ever received. <laughs> <laughs> You're so easy to please. So you don't want to receive something more expensive? Like what? Oh, by the way, the next few days, the maid said she won't be coming in, so I'll do the cooking. I can help you cook. No, it's fine. You just tell me what you prefer to eat. Do you like Chinese or French? Mm, I want... Japanese. <laughs> Japanese? Then I'll just order us some takeout. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Okay, I see. What's going on? Uh, uh, there's an emergency. Don't worry, I'll be back soon. Oh. See you later. Okay. Please be careful on the road. Hello? Zhekshang? Something happened to Wei Yan. You're back. How is she? She's awake now. I guess she's safe. So you've heard. Mm. Brother, are you worried about her? Of course I am. But we're all adults now. Everyone is an individual. Why would some people put their lives in others' hands? Should another person be responsible for someone else's life? But you failed her. So, Zhengsheng, you think... I should take responsibility? I guess...
Longchamp failed Wei Yan. That was his fault. But the Liangshan I know would definitely keep his word and marry Wei Yang. If it wasn't for her deception. He's not a man who changes his mind easily. Once he lets go, he will never turn back. I want to see Liang Shang. I want to see Liang Shang. You should go to her. I can't. I'm busy right now. Breakfast is almost ready. Great breakfast, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I hope this nice breakfast will get you into a much happier mood as the day goes on. Go eat more. Mm. Hello? Changsheng, this is Ma Chen. When can you get back to work? The modeling competition in Sanya is so hectic, so Ouyang Jojo is personally asking for you. Could you come back and help us? Miss Lin wants to know if you can help us. But... I am leaving the company. Really? But... Simon is also hoping that you could help me out. Even if you're planning to quit, could you please help me finish this project first? I'm begging you. Mm. Some things are just meant to be. Like sugar and coffee. No matter how many circles you go, you'll end up being together. <sighs> You've seen it at Liang Shang's bachelor's party. Bei Xiaowu. We'll find out what Xiao Zhou did sooner or later. Now if Xiao Zhou shows up in the future, you must keep distance from her. She's not as simple as the other girls. Changsheng, forgiveness does not equal forgetting. For now, it's not important. I believe as time goes by, Bei Xiaowu will forget her. How is that possible? Cheng Tianyu has been so good to you, but you never forgot Liang Shang. I grew up with Liang Shang. He is my brother. Then what about Tianyu? We've broken up. But you still have feelings for each other. I'm serious. You still work at his company. We really have broken up. Then can you admit that you don't have feelings for him anymore? I need to go back to Yong'an and assist Ouyang Zhao Zhao. You're what? Because they can't handle her, right? <laughs> you don't know her well. My profession tells me that she's just lucky. 
Come on, you know how she looks down on everyone. And she's also a very arrogant person. No one can handle her. Miss Lin can't handle her. So they dump her on you. But you don't need to worry. Just go with her. If she becomes unreasonable, Jin Yu won't have any of it. No, she's not like that. You feel better now? Um... I've got something to do. I have to go now. <laughs> Thank you, Liang Shang. Please don't leave. Shang is busy. He'll come to see you some other day. It's okay, Wei Yang. Let him go. Huh? Hmm? Wei Yang. Sung 